So in the textbook, I have given you a table. I don't know if I have that table here. Oh, I didn't copy that table. Hmm, I should have. But it gives you a table which give you whether some reaction is going to be spontaneous or not. So let's try to figure that out. But that's a table 10 point, it's a summary of the table. Summary is in table 10.4. but I will discuss very quickly about this. We know delta G zero equal delta H zero minus T delta S zero. So case one. Suppose delta S zero is positive and delta H zero is negative. Delta H zero negative implies that this is an exothermic reaction. What's an exothermic reaction? Gives off heat. Wait, what? Gives off heat. Good. Gives off heat. So will it be favored? So this means this is energetically favored. Right? Probability that it will continue becomes higher. Now, delta S is a positive. Which implies what? Entropy is increasing. Which means this is also favored. Which implies that delta G zero <clears throat> on the whole will be negative. And what did we say if the delta G is negative? Right there. Will that be a spontaneous process or not spontaneous? Okay, case two. Case two. Okay. In this case, I had my delta S as positive and delta H as negative. Now in case two, what if I have delta H as negative? Sorry, delta S as negative and delta H as positive. Delta H is positive. That means it's an endothermic reaction. Will that be energetically favored or unfavored? It's energetically unfavored. If delta S is negative, what does that mean? Entropy is decreasing. Can that happen? Nope. So overall, delta G zero will be positive which implies if delta G is positive, what did we say here? Not spontaneous. Excellent. Not spontaneous.
And case three, when that one's kind of funny. Okay, I'm going to split case three into two further cases. When delta S and delta H are positive and delta S and delta H are both negative. For this one, this kind of reaction is entropic entropically favored, but energetically unfavored. Which means this kind of a process is spontaneous only at high T high temperatures. When we have both values that are negative, the process is entropically unfavored and energetically favored. So those kinds of processes are spontaneous only at low T. Okay, so I've given you two different ways of figuring out whether a process is spontaneous or not. Okay. <clears throat> 